Welcome back, citizens one and all. Welcome back to more Dinkum. It's been a little while, but I thought we would stop on by and talk about waterbeds. Uh, let's talk about some cool ways I'd like to use waterbeds to decorate the area. Number one is really simple. Just do something like this. So you're going to raise the ground up so you can do like a waterfall type thing here. And what's nice about doing th it this way instead of using fountains or something like that is this looks really cool. And then obviously it can lead into something like this where you can tier them like that and just have neat water features like waterbed related fountains as part of your water features. So I really like it like that. Make sure you choose a good background. As you can see here with this one, it shines through. With this one just being dirt, it doesn't look quite as good. So make sure you choose a good tile to use. So I could not get what we needed to finish this, but doing a giant pyramid of waterfalls would look super cool. So interesting thing to experiment with. I'm going to eventually finish this out and see how it looks. But so far I like how it looks even like this, putting water on the top. Just overall looks pretty cool. So very unique one. Just I uh, I ran out of water beds. Another one here is just a really small waterfall and you can mix in cool features like you can put a fountain in the water. This little waterfall looks really cool and has some neat Roman influences with this is all the water beds. And a very cool one. I really, really enjoyed making this. So when I initially built this town, I built it too low by accident. So I had brought the water in from out here and as you can see, it was just too low down. So we came back through, we backfilled it by one and we raised it and used the water beds to make it look better. And that brought the water level up to where we needed it to. It was either that or bring the water level down entirely. So we, we opted to just cover the old water and raise it like that. And I really, really enjoyed it. We're back with another waterfall. And this time this was a, a rather large waterfall with some cool features at the top here. This one was a lot of fun to make and it's still in progress, but we were able to really tie a lot of cool elements together here. So these are all water beds all the way down and we went really, really, really like large with this build. And it goes back into fresh water down here from the rivers. So overall, really enjoyed this one. Very happy with it. That just goes to show you this. So that's two different size waterfalls that we made. And this is one of my favorite things to do. It's something I see people do a lot of is the waterfall builds. And last but not least, and this is by far my favorite, just a, like a marble fountain. Maybe you could argue it's a bathhouse, something like that. But cool Roman element added a lot here for me. The marble element added a lot. And then just the water itself like this. Like obviously this is just a really large fountain and it looks very cool. I really, really am happy with how this turned out. Okay, and thank you, citizens one and all, for watching this. Just a couple of fun things, fun ideas for the waterbeds. Hope y'all enjoy, and I cannot wait to see what type of waterbed ideas y'all have in the comments. Let me know. Y'all take care, and please continue on enjoying Dinkum.